Hey, we're back with Owning Your Outdoors, and I'm in front of a really nicely planted garden here. And if you're not to this point, you probably should be getting there real soon. It's that time of year to get your garden ready to rock and roll. And uh, Doug Schroeder, our Lewis Yard and Garden expert, is here this morning to tell us and give us some tips for, for the garden. Doug, what are some questions we need to ask when we're thinking about that process of putting a garden together? Well, the, the things you really need to consider, do you, uh, what space do you have to devote to a garden? Uh, look at your yard and uh, find a place that has at least six hours of light. And then also, I recommend what kind of time do you have to devote to a garden? So how do we go about uh, picking some of the right vegetables and plants that we want to plant in our garden? Well, use is the, the main thing. If you're going to can, you're going to need certain varieties of tomatoes, peppers, whatever. So you, you need to kind of do a checklist there. Uh, if you're a person that just likes sliced tomatoes in the summer, then that's a whole different variety. Okay, so and you have some examples of different plants that we can choose. Why don't we head on over sure. here to our, to our table. First thing I want to talk about, Doug, is the different types of tomato plants that we have here. There are a couple of different kinds. There are determinate, and what's the other one? Indeterminate. Okay, so what's the difference? Okay, indeterminate uh, tomato plants are a vine tomato, and those type of tomato plants will uh, produce fruit throughout the summer. Okay, so once they start producing tomatoes, they're just going to keep piling They're going to keep going. Okay. Now, determinate has like a two-week span where they produce all their fruit in a short period of time. A good example of a determinate is like aroma. Aroma uh, produces all its tomatoes within a couple of weeks. They're great for canning, uh, tomato sauces or whatever. And indeterminate, uh, one of the favorites is a big boy. People love them. They're a great slicing tomato, uh, just a great tasting tomato. Another thing I really recommend is you plant your garden to put your tomato cages in when you plant the garden. Uh, things have a tendency to mature faster than you think, and trying to work a tomato cage on onto a plant that's gotten overgrown is not an easy task. As I said before, I recommend people starting the garden in a small area and then work their way into a larger area. Uh, what I do every year is I make a plan of my garden of where everything's going to be planted before I even start planting. So is that something you actually draw up on paper? I draw it up on paper and then I keep that plan for the next year because you really should rotate your garden. The next year you shouldn't be planting the same plant in the same area of that garden. Uh, one thing I recommend when you start gardening is to amend your soil. Use a good organic material, compost manure, uh, really spade that into the soil and get it ready for planting. This will help everything really produce some uh, great vegetables. Another thing that I do in my garden is when I plant uh, carrots, I also plant radishes. The radishes will come up first. It actually breaks the ground for carrots. So do you plant them in the same spot? In or? the same row, in the very same row. And then I can uh, harvest the radishes, and after the radishes are gone, carrots are growing. Duh. Okay, so we've got all these vegetables and plants the uh, the flower over there kind of seems like the odd man out. What's that? Well, this is a little <laughs> present for Nancy. Uh, I checked these uh, flowers here do grow in Iowa, so uh, <laughs> you'll be safe. I uh, just want to send you away with something. It's been great working with you, Nancy. She's going to love it. It'll look perfectly on her, perfect on her new porch at the Wiener Ranch in Spencer. Yes. And here oh, you go. Doug, he gave me flowers last year too. Uh -huh. Thank you, Doug and Lois. I've forever gotten my my plants and flowers there. It'll be weird not to this year, so at least I'll take go. one there. Thank you. You can Thank always you. come back. You can always come back. Yes. Right. To visit, and then I'll go back. I like that you're calling <laughs> the Wiener Ranch. <laughs>